Be sure to check out the link in the description down below and my coupon code to give you a nice juicy discount on the Aether Edge when they go live again. So today it's time to unbox this thing, the Aether Edge Miner, and I'm going to show you how to set it up. Let's go. And the first thing you'll encounter is the Aether Edge Miner itself. It's got a screen on the front. It kind of looks like a thick PS5 to be honest. It's got a USB port, it's got an internet connection, and it's got where the DC in needs to go. And then on the bottom we have the fan and then the rubber stands that it will stand on. And on the front we also have a power button. So this is how it looks. It's very robust or it feels very robust and I can't wait to set it up. But let's first check out what else is inside this box because we still have something to go. And the next thing we will see in the box is a user manual. We've got a network cable, a power adapter, and we've got an adapter cable. And that's all there is in the box. And now that we've unboxed it, it's time to set everything up. So first things first, you plug in the ethernet cable in the second slot, and then the power adapter cable into the first bottom slot. And then it's time to set this thing up. All right, it's now connected. Now let's boot it up and go to the next step. Now while you do that, make sure you hold it for six seconds. Now while it's booting up, we need to check the manual and it says we need to have our Bluetooth on on our mobile device to pair it and we need to add the device. And we need to add the device by opening the Aether Edge mobile app and then navigate to the add a new device section. And then once the device has been booted up, you will see a QR code which you need to scan. So since I have the App Store, I'm going to go to the App Store. And then before you can pair your device, you need to download this app, the Aether Edge app, and you need to make sure that your Bluetooth connection is on. So let's install it and open it, and then scan the QR code you will see on your Aether Edge miner once it's booted up. Now once you open up the app, it says get started. So we're going to click get started. It's going to load and we need to log in or sign up. So we can use Apple, Google, or our email. I'm going to use email in this case. Then we need to enter the confirmation code that has been sent to our email. And now we need to set up our profile. So we need to get a username, get notified, your rewards have just landed, check out the amount of bonuses that landed into your account. Aether announced a new airdrop and Aether announced a new airdrop. Turn on notifications. You're going to hit allow. And we need you to allow Bluetooth connection in order to connect the Aether Edge device. So we're going to click allow Bluetooth. I'm going to click allow. And now we need to add a device. So I'm going back to the device to scan it by hitting add device and then bind the Aether Edge by scanning the QR code. Once I've scanned the QR code, I'm going to click continue and it now shows my total mining rewards, which are zero. And we have one unstaked device. Now the other options are we've got a balance. We don't have any rewards received yet. We've got notifications. And we've got a settings menu where you can select user profile, show all the private keys, add a new device, stake the record and so on. Device unbinding, basically anything you can do in the settings menu. Let's go back to home and the device currently says working and that has to do with the fact that it's going to download some updates and stuff. Make sure to not disconnect your device at this point in time because it's very important for the device to get all the updates. Now depending on your speed, this may take several hours but this could be done in a very quick moment as well. Now, you do need some Ethereum to cover your gas fees. If you want to know where your wallet is, you go to settings and then you see a wallet address up there and you have to copy that wallet address and that's the address you are going to send some Ethereum to to cover your gas fees. Now you can use any wallet you want to send to there, but just make sure it's enough to cover your gas fees. Now once you've done that, you need to have a little bit of patience, but eventually you will see your balance up here. And if you want to know what I'm on about, they made a comprehensive guide to staking on Aether Edge, which I'll be sure to put in the description down below for you to check it out, so you can read everything and why it's important to do those steps. All right, so the next step is very important because you need some Aether. And when you buy it on an exchange, you can only send it on the Ethereum network, but you need to bridge your Aether 
to the Arbitrum network. Now I'm going to use Squid Router for that. I'm going to click Swap, and we need to make sure that we select V2 Beta. Now once you're in V2 Beta, you need to connect your wallet. Right now it says Switch Network because I'm already connected, but you need to connect your wallet. And I want to go from Ethereum and Aether to Arbitrum and Aether. So I'm going to change that. So Ethereum, Aether tokens, Arbitrum Network, Aether tokens as well. And I'm going to send all my Aether, give the permission, hit next, hit approve, and then your transaction is being submitted. The transaction is now complete, and then we need to submit it. We need to confirm it in the wallet. Any transaction is being submitted. Now it says your transaction is complete, so we can close the extension and we can leave this page if we want to. Now I've got a confirmation right now, so I'm going to check and see if the wallet holds the Aether on the Arbitrum network. So because I'm behind the computer, I've opened up the web app. So I now I want to see if everything has entered my wallet. So I'm going to the settings menu, and then in the settings menu, you can click view wallet. Now it hasn't arrived just yet, but once it's entered your wallet, go back by using this button and then go down here to the home one. So the funds have been received to my address, so I'm going to click stake. And we need to confirm staking device is currently idle to start it. You need to complete the staking process. Let's click stake ATH. It gives me this approved transaction page. I'm just going to click approve. And now it says transaction complete. You're all set. Let's click all done. Transaction submitted. The transaction will take some time to complete. Please revisit the staking page to check the progress. Let's click complete it. And now all you need to do is wait a little bit and everything will be fine. Be sure to check out the link in the description down below and my coupon code to give you a nice juicy discount on the Aether Edge when they go live again. See you guys next time. Doei.